So I'm prepping. I'm getting ready for another round of teaching the four agreements. And today I've been thinking a lot about, about the agreement, which reads, don't take anything personally, right? And that means compliments or insults. I think for most of us, or culturally, uh, we go with that thought to insults first. Um, but really it works both ways. Because when we take a compliment personally, eh, someone thinks that we're beautiful. Well, the thought is not, oh, I'm beautiful. It's that person thinks I'm beautiful. Which means if that person doesn't think it at some point, then it becomes something that they can take away. And insults, right? If we create an attachment to an idea that we're not good enough in some way, and we make an agreement with somebody who offers us that idea, then we kind of place a limitation on ourselves, a way to restrict our ability to grow, to move forward, to express ourselves. Uh, so, you know, it's <laughs> so it's an incredibly powerful tool to just pay attention to what we've taken personally. I find that every time I'm able to identify something that's eliciting an, a reaction in me, you know, someone saying something positive to me, saying something negative to me, or even me just perceiving something as positive or, or negative, um, offers an opportunity for me to do introspection and to find another route, another route to another potential for me to grow into my own expansiveness, for me to step into another way of actualizing my authentic self. And so I invite you to practice this with me, <clears throat> to just notice when you take things personally, positive, negative, whatever it is, just pay attention and see if you can uncover within yourself what it was that struck you, what it was that made you take it personally, what it was that was valuable about it, or whether it was valuable. I find that just noticing can create the most profound of shifts in me, and I find that that's true for most of us. I love you. I love me. I love us. Have a blessed day.